you know, last year, problems aside, I think it's not really up to us players to handle that. So I think credit to all the boys and including the staff and all, you know, we, 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 we did our job, we still turn up, we played and we even played ourselves to the cup final. So I think this is a really special mention that I have to mention for the whole team. Yeah. In, in, our, in our job scope, I think pressure is definitely part of what we do. Uh, of course, now with all the hype and everything about the team, like how we are being favourites and all, I think at the end of the day, you know, this is SPL, you know, the whole season you can see every team can beat any team on their day. Really exciting times in Singapore football, Gabriel. How excited? are you to get on this new adventure with Lion City Sailors? Of course, uh, I'm, I'm very excited, very happy you know, to get the season started. We've been training for probably a month or so now. And officially, the team is now changed the name. And I think things are looking good. You know, we've been to our pre-season trip. Uh, we are training. And now, you know, it's a bit toned down really because as the season is starting, and I think me, everyone, even the boys are all looking forward to the start of the season. You have never won a trophy in Singapore football. Did the prospect of challenging for the title and perhaps picking up silverware at the end of the season make your mind up in taking on this challenge? To be very frank with you, uh, during the close season, it was a very, it was a pretty busy one. It was in terms that, you know, I mean, it's the time of the year where players are deciding on their future, where to go and all. So, I mean, me included, you know, I was actually modeling a couple of offers overseas. But at the end of the day, I think, you know, the direction from uh, Lion City Sailors, they were clear and very precise. And, you know, uh, I really like what I hear from them. You know? So, I think at the end of the day, it was a pretty easy decision to make. Now, let's touch on a little bit of a sore point for yourself. How do you feel about what happened to Warriors FC? How difficult was it to be the leader of a team that had off-the-field problems. Uh, like what I say, I'm always thankful to the team, you know, to all all my teammates back then and my coach, you know, to to give me this responsibility to be captain of the team, despite me being my first year. So I I I just feel that always when I step on the pitch, when I come to training, I have to actually set a good example, try to lead, and all. And I think the chemistry in the team was very good. So you were saying that how we motivate ourselves. I think it was a cohesive effort, you know, because when we, despite the problems, we turn up for training, we try to find something to actually keep ourselves going. So when we come to training, all we want to do is just like make use of that one, two hours to just sweat it out, to enjoy, you know, to be happy in each other's company. So simple thing like playing monkey, you know, even two side kind of thing. That was, it was just that simple, you know, to, to get each other going, you know, kind of thing. And I think that was really important, yeah. And yet, with all the issues that surrounded Warriors FC last season, you put up one of the best seasons ever for both club and country. How did you manage that? Uh, I think, I think it's also due to you know uh, age and uh, over the years, you know, I think that probably is signs of maturity. I would say because you know, as you know, footballers' lifespan is short. So as each 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 year passes, you know. You are like one step closer to you know the end of the road, so I just want to enjoy the moment. You know, you know uh, now with my kids and my always they come and watch my game. I just know that every time I want to play, I play for them, and I just want to make the best out of it. You know, the remaining years, five, six, seven, eight years or what. I just want to look back when I end my career. I just want to say that it's something I enjoy and I give my best and all, and I don't want to never not the moment that I regret.